Oh, hello, hello. Happy Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. Not That's not my English. I'm not saying happy Tuesday. I'm saying happy Tuesday because we are today. We are on zero two. No, we're not. We're on 22, zero two, 22. So we have all of the twos. So happy Tuesday. Tuesday, a very energetic, a very special energy number as well. You know, 22 is a master builder number, it says. So heading into the double twos today, it's going to be an epic day for us to actually, you know, really, really manifest and, you know, build our life, our dreams and our desires. You know, you only need to go Google the meaning of 2202 2022, uh, because the next time we will actually have this, um, this 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 number together in this in this format, I believe is 21. Let me I wrote it down somewhere. I wrote it down. Uh, 2102. That's the next time we'll get these kind of dates. So, yes, happy two day Tuesday. Enjoy your days your day and let the energy drive you to whatever your dreams and your desires and your goals are for, for today. Um, you know, I love, I love numerology. Um, but what I'm here to share with you today is what I actually, what came up for me today while doing my lessons and my studies this morning. And, um, one of the big things that came up for me today was responsibility. And responsibility is one of these words that, you know, we're all, you know, we're, we're always talking about. I'm sure, that, you know, we're saying the word responsibility. You know, how many times a day do you say that you're responsible for somebody? Um, or you're responsible to do something? And responsibility is one of these, you know, is one of these um, words in our vocabulary that can actually be quite, an, you know, let's say, a negative vibration. So one of these words, oh my God, I've got the responsibility of this. I've got all the responsibility on my shoulders. Have you ever felt that or heard that, that you're actually carrying the can or taking responsibility for your team or your family, um, et cetera, et cetera. And so I was going through the, the, through the, um, the lessons today and what really came out is that we are only responsible for ourselves, period. You know, we are only responsible for ourselves. Now, we may be responsible to, for instance, a project. We may be responsible to our children when they're older. Um, obviously, we're responsible for them when they're younger. You know, we, do, you know, we, have, to, we, we have to help them. Um, but there is a difference between, between being responsible for somebody and responsible to somebody. So we are only responsible for ourselves. And so once we actually appreciate that, then things get easier. What I actually wrote, um, what I actually read here as well, it says, um, when a person takes responsibility for this, this was from a really um, good friend and mentor of Bob Proctor, um, Val Van Der Waal. When a person takes responsibility for their life and the results they are obtaining, they will cease to blame others of the cause of their results. Because obviously this is all, you know, all this work that I do is about you achieving the results that you desire, you achieving the goals, your dreams, your desires, your manifestations. And so when they cease to blame others for the cause of their results, and what that means is that perhaps you're, you know, there is something that you want to achieve. There is a goal that you have. There is an aim that you want to get to, and perhaps it is not manifesting. Take a step back and think, are you blaming others? Are you in blaming the environment? Are you blaming the people that you work with or for? Um, are you blaming, you know, your family? You know, think about, you know, when you're think of, thinking about why these results aren't manifesting, who are you blaming? Because you, when you take responsibility, you cease to blame others for the cause of your results. Since you cannot change other people, blame is inappropriate. Blaming others is, causes a person to remain bound in a prison of their own making. When you take responsibility, blame is eliminated and you are free to grow. So it's not worth blaming any situation. It's not worth blaming, you know, any scenario that's happening, you know, good or bad. It, it really isn't worth blaming. And it's it's it's, it's one of the I wrote it down in, in, in my um, notes and that as well, because the master key that fits. And I wrote this in myself because I write in present tense. Um, the master key that fits my lock is clearly marked and within my reach. And that key is responsibility. When we take responsibility for everything that happens around us, when we take responsibility for our actions, then everything else changes. And it's it's kind of like everything happens for a reason. 
you know, and my do my daughter will say say things to me now, and you know, and I'll say drive carefully, else, you know, you need to be careful, you know, the with the roads wet or anything else like that, or you know, the trees are, you know, it's windy and things like that. And she says, Mum, everything happens for a reason. You know, I'll take responsibility for my actions, and I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, <laughs> that is true. And so it's going out and taking responsibility for whatever actions that you are taking and not blaming others. And so if you're not responsible, you know, there's something else that I wrote down here. Um, those who win big in life take responsibility and create their own destiny because if if the results are if you're not achieving the results in your life currently that is because there is something that is happening within your energetic field that isn't attracting into your you know into into your um sphere for you to manifest those goals dreams and desires responsibility responsibility is one of those tools that we can actually work through to actually help us attract our dreams our goals our manifestations taking responsibility for everything around us whatever that is good or bad and it's very much you know, I, was, I was speaking to somebody the other day and there was a big there was a big argument within this group and you know there were you know there was there was a lot of heatedness and then you just think you need to take responsibility of why these people are acting like this and you know responsibility for yourself but not responsible for how they act and so it's an absolute fantastic article. If it's something that you want me to send to you, you know, that, that I work through, please let me know. Because one thing that it, this, 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 um, this lesson that I work with ends is that I am responsible for my life. I am responsible for my feelings. I'm responsible for my personal growth. And I'm responsible for every single result I get. And then some people are like, yeah, but I've got diabetes for instance or i've got this or i've got that i'm not responsible for that that's in my dna the laws of the universe is that you're responsible for your feelings your life your your personal growth growth and every result that you get every result that you get whatever that is whether or not that's health whether or not that's energy whether or not that's money whether or not that's relationships you're responsible for everything that you have in your life currently. If it is not what you're desiring, if you want better results than you're currently getting, then there are shifts that need to be made. You need to take responsibility and, you know, appreciation that there are shifts need to be made. And these shifts and these paradigms can be made. Believe me, this is what I do on a daily basis. So enjoy your Tuesday, your Tuesday um, today. Take responsibility, have a look around everything that's happening in your, in your life, the results that you are getting and see where you're blaming others, blaming environment and where you're not taking responsibility and just give yourself an exercise. Have an absolutely awesome day. I'll see you tomorrow.